what happened here i have heard with my own ears the tales of war that are narrated to me by the victims i am deeply distressed that a section of the misguided political elements they consider human lives as fallen leaves to be cornered and trashed this is not an acceptable situation the common man has got the right to exercise his franchise without fear or favor i find a lack of confidence among them intimidation strong arm tactics flexing the muscles these are all reported here this is not acceptable this goes against the basic tenet of democracy mobocracy seems to be taking over democracy this does not bring credit to anyone down the line as governor i have a commitment i have a commitment not only to the constitution of india but also to those who framed the constitution who framed the constitution as a preamble states we the people of india hum log we the people of india give to ourselves this constitution therefore the governor who is supposed to be the custodian of the constitution has to defend the rights of the common man in constitution the right to life is guaranteed the right to universal adult franchise is also guaranteed whenever there is an encroachment on any of these i will certainly defend it with all my might because the people want it the constitution want it i am a student of literature to quote shakespeare as flies to the wanton boys as flies to the wanton boys are we to the politicos they kill us for their sport this is shakespeare unfortunately at least in some pockets where i visited i see the deterioration of democracy i do not want to generalize on this i have seen only two three places for that the tales of war which were told to me by the victims is something we should open up our all our eyes i am here determined to stand by the people to see that their inalienable right of free and fair election will be guaranteed in letter and spirit and you know in kolkata the honorable high court has given a verdict which states in unequivocal terms certain steps to be taken to ensure that election is free and fair certainly we will do this atrocities intimidation violence will not be tolerated as a man on the street says chalbona chalbona hobena hobena that is going to be the approach towards vandalism towards violence which is marring the political ethos of the state but one good thing is that today as i came here i had a discussion with some of the survivors of the victims elsewhere i took it to the government the chief secretary was alerted and he took prompt action i also saw here some of the police officers whose hands were bruised hurt by bricks that also i saw this is a time when all right thinking people have to stand together this malay has to end violence has to end there should be free pro- this bengal should become as rabindranath tagore said where the mind is without fear and the head is held high for that i stand committed i am sure i will be with the people of bengal to guard their inalienable sacred right to exercise their vote without fear sir, thank you uh,